20th of October 2016. We're parked at the Ganahi Bridge just outside Edzo. We're going to have a walk up to the Rocks of Solitude. The trees are beautiful just now. That's the River North Esk just below us. Super colours. This is the famous blue door that you go through just off the lay-by at the side of the road. It takes us on the path that runs right up the north desk. And there's a, an information board there telling you how to get there. Just came off the main path. A steep path leads down to the side of the river, the Esk. And that's looking back up to the Ganahi Bridge, where the last shot was taken. There, yeah, that's the river. Beautiful spot. We continue along the path now that just follows the river. That's looking into the woods. And the river is just down there. That's it. The path is just full of colour here, and that's the sun coming out, it's 12 degrees, a nice day for walking through the woods here. It's a nice little spot here, the bridge across the burn, it's about a quarter of a mile from the blue door, and a good path all the way along. Not a lot of water coming down the Esk. It's quite slow in bits. But nice autumn About colours. Half a mile up from the blue door. And there's a fisherman on the other side of the Esk. See him cast in there. The river there's not a lot of water coming down. Just opposite that last shot. You have the Burn House there. Dundee University, I think, used to use that for running courses. Looks in good condition. This is a popular spot here. There's a bit of a waterfall on the S and a fish ladder. So I'm going to go down there now and take a couple of shots. That's the fish ladder right in front of me, there, and the waterfall. This is looking down the river now. It meanders through all the rocks there. Beautiful spot. See the, that bridge was functional at one time. That spanned the S. Now it's actually quite dilapidated. Path gets close to the river now here. Some nice little sandy bits having a picnic. More like a summer's day today. The river's running quite low. Here's some canoeists coming down the river now. Not a lot of water at the waterfall for them, but that's them just passing there. Three big canoes and no two big canoes and two small canoes. Lovely. The path starts to climb up above the river again, and then it heads straight on to the rocks of solitude. There's the path up there. Up there. And then we're heading on, not far away from the rocks of solitude now. Done just slightly over a mile. Well, this is the Rocks of Solitude now. Not far from that last shot. 
you just come to this bit where there's like a small wall, nice place to stop. And the river is away down below us, way down there. That's the river there. Rocks of Solitude, there aren't really specific rocks, it's just an area with a lot of rock faces all the way along the path. So we'll follow the path around, it eventually goes on to the main road, it goes up Glen Esk. Just at that bit we have canoes coming down again, a little bit rapids. Two or three canoes. Quite impressive. There's one going down through the rapids. And here's the last one coming now. The yellow canoe. There it is. He's down. There's an impressive bit where the path runs right through the rock there. The Highland Fault actually runs along this line. So this is the end of the path here, not far from that last shot actually, comes right onto the main Glen Esk Road, there's a car parked there and there are a few other ones in a lay-by just to my right. So that's the main Glen Esk Road there. We've decided we're not going back, you can take a high road back the way we came, but we're going to go up the Glen Road about half a mile to three quarters of a mile, pick up a track that leads down to a new bridge over the, the south over the Esk and then walk down the other side of the river via the Brig of Moorin to the Ganachy. About half a mile up you come to this gate that has a track that it is there that runs right down to the Esk with a bridge across the Esk. It's a good track winding right down to the river. These are some of the hills in Glen Esk. It's the Hill of Wyrn over there and then looking round towards Bulg. That's the bridge there. The road winds round, doubles back on itself to get down onto that bridge across to the other side and there's a, a good road track that runs up that side of the Esk. So we'll turn left, it goes right down to the Ganachy. That's looking up the Esk from the bridge. It's in the shade there. We're now down at the, the Brig of Moorn, which is a nice picnic spot. Lovely picnic spot. There's the brig there. It's a tarmac road of a kind. There's another flat sort of field over in this area cattle in it just now with young calves but a nice area. You know, I'm standing on the Brig of Moorn and that's the Moorn Burn running down onto the Esk. That's the North Esk there. There we are. That's looking back the way that we're going. Looking up Glen Esk. In nice autumn colours. So you walk straight down that road from the bridge about two and a half miles and you come to the main road, the main Edzo Fetter Cairn Road, that's it just down there at the T-junction. Turn left and the Ganachy Bridge is just there. Good walk, close on seven miles. Good walk to do in the autumn.